Hey friends, if you're a programmer, you need a build system. It's as simple as that. If you are manually typing in compile commands, you've got to stop right now. Even if you're working on fairly simple projects, you're going to make mistakes and you're going to type a whole lot more than you want to. So when, you, when you're looking for a build system, you have a lot of options out there. You've got options like Make, Rake, Ant, Maven. Now, Make isn't necessarily my favorite, but it's universal. And so whether or not it's the one you, whether or not it's, it's your favorite, it's one that you should definitely know. Okay, so without further ado, let's learn the basics of Make in 60 seconds. To use Make, you need first you need a Make file. Now, a Make file is basically just a text file that describes how your program should be built. Um, make is really about dependencies and rules. So let's look at an example. Let's say I have some file hello.c and I want to compile it and name the output hello. Okay, so I just add a rule uh, with a target hello. That's, that's what I'm going to produce that depends on hello.c. Now, I can just add below the command that is used to create hello from hello.c. Now, if I type make hello, it checks to see if hello.c has changed, and if it has, then it's going to run that rule and it's going to build the binary. It's going to execute what, I have, what I've specified. And of course, I can add additional source files to the dependency list. You can, of course, add more rules. I can create an all task that'll run by default so that I can just type make and I don't even have to specify the target. It's a good idea to use variables to specify things that you might want to change in the future. And finally, it's, it's a good idea to have a clean rule that deletes all of your generated files. So that way you can easily blow everything away that you've generated and recreate a clean build. Now, obviously, there's a lot more that you can do with make. But for now, you have the basics that you'll need to get started using Make in your projects. So try it out. Automate your builds, my friends, and you will type less, make fewer mistakes, and have more fun programming. Until next time, I'll see you later.